if you can hear me, but we're about to go for the first half. Music's playing, we're ready. Let's go for the first take. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, I'm Jem, I'm a director and I'm an editor and um, I shoot music videos, um, anything really, short films, um, but if you are new and you like some behind the scenes of music videos or a couple of tips that I might share or something like that, then please do subscribe. I'm trying to reach 1,000 followers um, in a year. I know it sounds doesn't sound like a lot, but it's quite hard. <laughs> I've only got a couple. Um, so I'd really, really appreciate it if um, you maybe subscribe to the channel. Uh, maybe tell me what you want to see in a couple of videos. I can go through some kit or I can do more behind the scenes on shoots. Um, so kind of just keep me, you know, tell me what you kind of want to see and um, I'll try and do it. Um, okay, so let's get started with the video. So what I'll do is we'll go to um, the first behind the scenes for the first video. It's for his track called Senorita. So we did the acoustic and we did the normal one. So let's go, I'll take you behind the scenes. So this is um, just people arriving, going through the makeup, getting um, everyone ready for the shoot. We got there, uh, we must have got there about eight o'clock in the morning. Um, we wanted to start turning over at half past nine. But. We're about to go for the first take. Um, we've got our top light in. John O's just hazing up for us. And I'm just letting in Harry. Hey! There's so, Harry, um, our producer. Harry's just arrived. Ledge. Yo. With loads and loads of heavy bags, and we're setting up for the first shot. Having uh, 120D coming down. We're just building a little scrim so we can put some diff through it. We've got the camera rigged up over here. We've got some negative fill here. Let me just step across. Shooting. Today we're shooting on the red Scarlet W. And we're using the Sigma 50 to 100 1.8 art lens. Tilt and matte box. So we're just setting up for the second shot now. We're having to really smoke this place up because we want to get a nice silhouette shot of this window. Yeah, so um, we filled the room with haze. We um, were using as much of the natural light coming through the window as possible, but we just needed a, a bit of fill, so that's what we used the 120D4 um, Mark II, just to give that little bit of extra fill that we needed. There it is a, a, acting as an overhead for this particular shot. It's Kama, um actress for the, um, for the video. Here we've kind of, we're, we're using the window too, but we've also got the 120D which just adds a little bit more when she gets a little bit closer to the camera. Um, but, we, oh yeah, we really fogged up the kitchen, it looked really, really cool. We got um, John pulling um, wireless focus across the room. Oh, this is upstairs, that was in, a second, in the second shot. But where we used this um, neon light on the wall and the shots were just looking absolutely amazing. And that was completely by accident because we didn't expect to shoot in that room or we didn't even know about the light to begin with but it was one of those really happy accidents where you don't quite know what's happening but it just worked out a treat we've just wrapped in the first video and now we're just clearing up to shoot the acoustic version in the kitchen um i think everything went really well um we used a effect on the aperture 120d the strobe effect for the last setup which i think looked really cool and we also shot upstairs with this green neon sign that looked really, really awesome. So you'll see that in a video coming up. And cut. And that's a wrap, everyone. Okay, so that one was really tough. So then I also wanted to do a music video for a friend of mine called Fenny. So um, I've done his videos and his brother's videos for about four or five years. The, the song, I really, really love the song. I think it's gonna do really, really well. I think it's gonna drop really, really soon. Um, I'll link 
the video, the final videos in the description below when they're finally released. Um, I don't know when they're going to be fine. I don't know when they're going to be released, but hopefully, um, not too long after this video comes out. It usually takes a while from when you um, finish shooting a video to when you cut it, and then when you, the artist wants to release it. I guess um, most artists wants to re they want to release their videos strategically when they kind of feel that it's the best time for them to do it. So um, yeah. Hey, setting up for the first shot. Three. Setting up the baby. Hey, the What's the first shot consist of? So, um, first shot we're going to set up a little private VIP area. Going to have loads of people sort of drinking, chilling, put Fanny in the middle. Everyone's having a good time. Drinks are flowing, party's going. I mean, really, this is not in order because this is going to be the later part of the video, but. Um, it's good that we're inside so that we can control the lighting anyway, so it doesn't matter so much. Uh, <laughs> here's me rigging up the camera, setting up setting up one of the shots, just checking if everything looks okay, where to position stuff. I did um, try the shot with an easy rig at first, but with all those mirrors in the back, oh look, here we go, with the easy rig, but I was in the reflection, so I could only really use it as the close-ups. We're about to go for the first half. Yeah, look, I was just getting close-ups really because I'm, I'm in the reflection of the mirror. Haze it all up. We've got um, 120D on. We've also got some Godox 60 um, either side to add a bit of fill. We also use some cool little fairy lights at the uh, front of the table just to make, uh, give, a, give us a bit of separation. This, this particular bit, I'm going around getting some slow motion shots. Here's me and Fenny. We're talking about the next setup, how he wants it. This shot was really cool because we had, a, you know, we had a lot of depth, and those lights, those hanging lights, were really, really cool. They already looked like we were shooting anamorphic, even though we were using spherical lenses. But it just made the shot really, really pop. And we were shooting everything anamorphic scope anyway. This is uh, a wide shot. This is um, all this BTS content was shot by my girlfriend Olivia. This is all shooting on the Sony uh, 63, A6300. So big shout out to Olivia for shooting all this BTS for me. I've been messing about, trying to get involved in the dancing. Okay, so this is now uh, we changed location. We're outside. Really sorry for the overexposure. Um, camera was on auto and it just kind of, I don't know what happened. Um, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Amen. I see my guy money dealer. I ain't seen money dealer in a while no, still. No, you no, get me? No. Zimbabwe, no. Zimbabwe, you know. Zimbabwe, you know. I'm telling you, bruv, don't sleep on Zimbabwe. You get me? Don't, sleep, don't sleep. Don't sleep. <laughs> don't sleep. <laughs> Again, sorry for the exposure. This is more just slow motion B-roll stuff. I've got, I think I already got all the performance shots. So this is just going around, picking off um, individual slow motion shots to um, cover the I uh, we're here today my brother's video shoot so a big day fam gang out here behind the scenes come on say your no. boy J couple of shop like a rumble you feel me hey, out say, here out on the scene alright listen alright yeah. cool. what are you saying love come. it love it Let's we're out here for this shoot man come on Wade's got a big right. big That's wave good. come on come big wave's coming up Gerald's out Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, that was the behind the scenes for the two videos. Like I said, please um, subscribe to the channel. Maybe hit the bell to get notifications when more videos pop up. Let me know what you want to see in other videos, whether it be editing content, After Effects content, um, lighting content, how to light scenes, or and stuff like that. Um, or just let me know if this vlog was really bad because. I'm really new to the whole vlogging thing, so if it's really, really bad, I won't do it anymore. But um, thank you very much for dropping by, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one, if you're still around. 
Um, peace. <laughs>